Hi folks, you're looking at a Zenith R7000-2 Transoceanic here. Belongs to my uh, brother-in-law. The uh, receiver itself is completely dead. No indication here of any signal strength on the meter. And uh, I plugged in my uh, headphones here as well. And uh, nothing out of the receiver on all bands. So um, you can see the power supply is working at least to illuminate the uh, dial light indicators. So let's do a little troubleshooting here and see if we can find the root cause of the problem on this uh, really cool Xena Transoceanic Model R7000-2. Let's get this uh, unit here disassembled. You can see no batteries here in the uh, cabinet. By the way, I did power this thing up using a 12-volt uh, adapter, negative ground and uh, still had the same issue. And something here just a little concerning with the uh, three fasteners here. I haven't unplugged the uh, power cable yet, which will be next, but uh, check out the uh, little part laying right here. So I'm um, wondering if that uh, ties into the root cause of our problem. And everything looks good here. This is the uh, switch here that automatically senses the uh, battery versus the uh, AC input. And as well as a uh, slow blow fuse. Walking back over here looking at the uh, power transformer itself. Everything's good here. So uh, let's get the chassis out here. See what's going on. You can see I've got the uh, chassis removed, and for those that watched earlier, do you guys recall this little part here? And then just doing a visual here, check out what I see regarding the uh, band switch. So I'm thinking that little small piece here is connected here, and you can see the uh, hub or the cover laying here. Let me see if I can figure out how this thing uh, goes back together. I think I've got the uh, band switch corrected in this area, doing some additional troubleshooting my uh, B+, which is controlled by the uh, secondary part of the band switch here, is broke. So when I toggle the switch, looking at uh, voltages uh, pin number 13, back down to the uh, switching diodes here, my uh, B plus is missing, so I'm going to have to uh, break into this guy here as well and uh, just see if I can uh, make a repair um, here as well and hopefully get everything aligned and uh, make this thing uh, play again. And after prying this piece apart, um, you can see this piece fell out as well. And it uh, kind of made sense with my troubleshooting since my uh, B plus was not being routed down to the uh, switching diodes. So uh, let me see if I can uh, glue this up some way, somehow, without removing the entire assembly here. And if you look real close here, I tried to uh, mark my uh, glue point locations here, where I think the contact point itself was um, originally attached here to the uh, plastic hub. You can see here I rough things up, so I'm uh, not sure this is going to hold or not, but uh, time will tell. Let me go ahead and mix up the adhesive here, get that applied. Okay, if you're looking at the uh, center of the screen there, you can see where I've tried to uh, rough things up and reattach the uh, metal contact point. So uh, we'll just let this dry, and again, we'll come back and uh, try to put this assembly back together and check things out, see if we can make this thing play again. Oh, the 